Now, before we move on to the last tool, with the, which is the touch type tool inside the Illustrator, I wanted to show you a little trick that you might probably want to use when you are creating ribbons. So let me just grab the ellipse tool and create a simple circle that is going to look something like that. And let's say that we want to create text that would uh, go uh, along uh, well this uh, this curvature and uh, this uh, this line uh, of the of the circle. So I'm going to grab the type on a path tool and I am simply going to click uh, somewhere here and I'm going to type in my uh, maybe first ribbon just like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, the direct selection tool and just play around with these guys like so and move this guy to the center just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to copy it and I am going to lock it. So I'm going to press Ctrl C on my keyboard and then, and then Ctrl 2 on my keyboard to make sure that it's being locked. Now I'm going to go ahead and press Ctrl F. Of course on a Mac you'd go with Command F and I'm going to grab the direct selection tool and I'm going to bring this guy down to somewhere here. But as you can see, this guy is being flipped in the wrong direction. So what we could do is we could simply grab this guy right here, this middle bar and move it up just like so and maybe play around with this guy just like that. But as you can see, we got a bit of a problem here. I mean, we uh, we can see that uh, this first text, my first ribbon is being, well, I think it's uh, being higher on on the circle than this uh, bottom, um, bottom text. So I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that the distance between these guys is not is not equal. I mean, the distance from this uh, top text and, uh, and the center point and the bottom text and the center point are not equal. And we as designers want coherence, don't we? So this is what, what we could do. I'm going to press uh, Control Alt to my keyboard on a Mac. You'd go with Control uh, Command Option to to unlock my first uh, my first text. So maybe I'm just gonna um, change this text to my uh, my first project. Let's call it like that. And I'm gonna make sure that it's been uh, been directly uh, in the middle. So I'm gonna move this guy to the left. So what I want to do right now is I want to go to the path, um, type on the path options, and I want to change the align to path from baseline to center, just like so. And uh, maybe, of course, it, this is what this is what I told you about working with this with this tool takes takes time and takes patience really. So I'm gonna grab this guy again. I'm gonna grab uh, the type on the path tool options, move it to center, and now I can be sure that the distance between this guy and the center point and this guy and the center point is equal because our text is being aligned to the middle of our of our path. So in the next video, we are going to talk about the touch type tool, which is a tool that uh, all of you guys who are working on the pre-CC version of Illustrator, well, you won't have it, but uh, all of you guys who have the CC version, uh, you can you can use it. So in the next video, we will talk about the touch, uh, well, the touch type tool.